Hey guys, we're doing a short little well, review overview. Uh, this is the Alpha Airsoft um, custom Infinity Terrain Grip. Uh, it's been, I think it's been out for a couple of weeks. Um, I'll put in the description where I bought it from. Uh, it's $69.90, not shipped from Alpha Airsoft. I bought it because I just had to try it out. I was very curious by it, and um, I'm happy with this. It's, it's um, for 70 bucks. This is a good deal, and the reason why I'm going to show you right now is because this is basically a polymer version of this, but does not cost 300 plus. All right, this is a prime grip. <laughs> it's just expensive, right? And for someone who does not want to pay 300 bucks just to get this look, um, this is a great option, no doubt. This is hands down a very nice replica. Um, this is. The the only thing I gotta say is you, you guys know no company no one's ever gonna buy my approval okay uh, for perfectionists out there this is you're gonna be a little picky I'm gonna show you why I'm gonna bring it up close okay I hope you guys can see since this is hand done you can see that there's gonna be maybe it's maybe on yours if you buy it you're gonna have a perfect one but this one is not perfect it doesn't bother me because I gotta be honest cause I abuse my shit all right eventually it's gonna get this stuff. But you can see right here that there's going to be markings here, right here, right here, you know, you can see it, okay? And on the bottom, you can see right here, more apparent. But obviously, guys, I'm putting the Mago on here. This is going on my Airsoft Masterpiece 4.3 Hybrid, which I might have a video on, I'm not sure, okay? But yeah, so since it's hand done, this is what's on here. But... For 70 bucks versus 300 bucks, this is a nice deal. This is a TM grip, okay? I'm going to show you just side by side to show you how much has been done. And until you guys have worked on a grip yourself, you understand how, you know, a pain in the butt this is, alright? Because I've worked on grips before and it's not fun. It's a lot of work. It's tedious. Okay, so here's the TM grip in front. Now you can see that you can't see the prime grip that well. I'm going to put this in here. Okay. I hope you guys can see that huge that that huge difference right here. It's been beveled out to copy the prime grip pretty much. Alright, it's smoothed out here. They got the skater grip. They got the infinity logo here with like a I'm not sure exactly what's underneath it, but I'm sure it's some kind of reflective like a, a tape and they just put reflective and they put the grip tape over it. But yeah. So um it comes in this right here. So you don't have to worry about it being damaged or anything. And remember guys, if you're picky, this is hand done. This is not a mass manufactured grip like the other ones I'm going to show you. Um, just to show you guys, I, I you know I did I'm doing a little video on this because you know people like making their guns unique, different, and this is why I try to do videos for you guys. So you can, you know, figure out options out there. So this is one. Obviously the prime is one. Here's another example. You guys can go buy a grip tape. I used to cut them myself, but guess what, guys? There's real steel companies that have these pre-cut for the uh, STI 2011. Uh, man, just grip tape, put it over. Guess what? Your grip is custom. Well, not really, but... <laughs> Alright. Here's a 9-ball grip. These are in the, I believe, 60, 50, 70 range. It depends on where you buy it from. 9-ball grip. It's unique. It's different. Alright. And then here's the most average. It's not, I mean, not, I don't mean average by bad, but this is what you're mostly going to see on Ipsic guns. These are very, very common. This is a shooter design one. Um, AABB makes the same grip. It's obviously a lot less cheaper. Uh, the difference is you do, it does feel cheaper. If you put it next, to, if you feel them and play with it, you'll feel the difference. But regardless, I use both. Um, we has a version, but the difference with we is this part is uh, plastic, just like the uh, the TM one. Okay, just like that. So you don't uh, the ABB. All of them come with stickers, you know, screws, and that part right here, except the we one. So that's just the only ones I haven't showed you guys right now is because I actually don't own them anymore. Are uh, the KJW accelerator? It's like the checkered one. It's really cool. One of my favorite grips, and it's dirt cheap. It's like 15 bucks. Or something like that, and the Tonoya Goba grip slash garter. Uh, those are 1911, but they're high cap size. Uh, very nice. But back to this guy. For uh, for 70 bucks, 
yes, I like this. This is very cool. Um, I will probably, if I do do a video on the hybrid, you'll see it. Uh, I'm putting it into a good work. So, um, just a little overview review of it. 70 bucks. I'll put in the description where I got it from. Alpha Airsoft. And it's a nice, <laughs> a lot cheaper than this. Alright. 70 bucks, 300 plus. Alright. Big price gap. And you get the, almost literally the same look. Very nice. Okay. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And you guys, have a good day.